let me just talk about this. I usually uh, point out the central theme. And the central theme here is the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords, this is kind of like sailing away from a troublesome situation, right? And then now having to come back, having to, whatever you have walked away from that was left unresolved, that was left very um, um, unclear and, you know, undefined, I feel that you're going to have to go back to revisit it and to um, get some closure from it, okay? So I feel that there might have been a situation, I feel like it's family related, um, children related, family related, and uh, even like a family member that you would consider like a relationship partner. I feel that there's some unfinished business that once and for all, you need to kind of like stake your ground, you know, like draw the line in the sand, go back and tell the other person that, you know, this is where I stand and we should not be having this conversation again. So I feel that a lot of you are in a position where you're standing up for yourself, where if someone has been kind of like um, on the side sidelines, just like egging at you, I feel that you're going to stand firm and you're going to tell people, you know, where you stand with them and telling them pretty much that, you know, your behavior is not okay. So I'm sensing for some of you, this is occurring in your work environment, okay? There has been projects, there has been, you know, like a lot of momentum. I feel like a lot of you are learning new skills or honing in on new skills that you are learning in order to perfect something in the work front. So I feel that you're working very, very diligently to accomplish things. And in the process of working, I feel like, you know, more responsibilities get put on you. You're either volunteering your time to take on additional responsibilities. And uh, you feel as if, you know, this is going to allow me to move ahead in a very clear, directed manner. This is going to tell everybody that I'm a great team player, that I'm a great collaborator. And this is going to, you know, solidify. It's going to help me, um, I, I feel like, improve some new skills of yours or even like allow you to perfect some new skills. So you're doing it happily. And I do sense that over time, the people kind of like take your efforts for granted. They see you finishing your responsibilities. They put more on your plate and they feel like you're such a great team player that they impose more responsibilities upon you. And it's like, uh, it's, it's unwarranted. It's not fair. And I feel that a lot of you are going to really need to draw your, you know, line in the sand and to tell people what's appropriate and what's not. Okay. So I feel many of you are going to be standing up for yourself very strongly in the work environment. And then some of you, this is going to be like in the family situation. Okay. Um, brother, sister, siblings, um, parents, especially, um, imposing something upon you. Like, um, I, I'm just sense, I'm, I'm just sensing like, expectations coming through from family that for whatever reason is unfounded and you feel like you know um with family like i mentioned before a lot of you are very lenient so you will you know take up the mantle and do the work but i feel that either way you're going to need to be very very definitive about what you're willing to do what the other side needs to contribute and how much of your time you're devoting to this um you know endeavor that they're they're demanding from you so that's really really important not stating your case is going to create a lot of misunderstanding and a lot of hurt feelings okay so making sure that you communicate in a way that is logical so for example if you have a time commitment for you know for work and they're giving you more responsibilities. I feel that it's really important to, you know, tell them I can get back to you on this project in about two weeks time, two months time and be very realistic about that. Okay. You're not the sign to, to, um, you know, want to eagerly want to please other people. You're actually very self-contained. And I feel that the main thing here is to, you know, gauge our potential, your individual potential, see how long you would need to finish existing commitments before you commit yourselves out, yourselves out elsewhere. And so communicating very clearly is going to be important for you. Okay. What I also feel coming through here is, um, there is, we have here a little bit of a codependent type of a relationship that I feel you're not ready to extract yourself from. So I feel like once again, this is um, a situation that you devoted a lot of your time, your effort and your resources in. 
And I feel that the other person, you know, you, you try to move away from it. And when you're away from it, you're actually very, very successful. But the other side keep pestering you to come back. The other side keeps, you know, tempting you to come back. It could be like a former lover. Or I feel like employment from a previous time, like a previous employer, uh, soliciting you with, you know, uh, why don't we negotiate for a higher salary? If you come back, we'll, you know, uh, compensate you with this. We'll match the salary. And I feel that it's really important for you to not have to be so diplomatic, but, you know, to draw your line in the sand and just tell them where you stand and just say no. Okay. So I feel communication coming through is going to be a little bit fuzzy, but I do sense that it is so important for this month to have that mental clarity so that you can communicate your way in a, yourselves in a way that is incredibly definitive so that other people are just, you know, they, they know where they stand with you because I feel like you were trying to, you know, not hurt their feelings. You were trying to not deal with a situation, but now it's, uh, it's coming back from the past and it's, um, it's taking up a lot, a lot of your time, a lot of your thoughts, and you don't really have time to entertain this thing from the past. And so you need to let it go. Okay. Um, what I'm also feeling is, you know, there's a great energy here when it comes to really figuring out what's done and over with. Pick your battles as well as think about, you know, uh, the, the actions that you're doing and, and the best outcome that you're hoping to achieve. So, for example, if you're hoping to divert your time, you know, launching a project and everybody's on board, but you have second thoughts, you have doubts that it's going to be successful. Maybe, you know, saying that up, up front and uh, save the people the effort, okay? So I feel that a lot of things have kind of been swept under the rug. And I feel like it's projects related. And I also feel as well, there's somebody in your life here. And this is showing up here as an air sign. So an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. And I feel that this is somebody, I almost feel like, I almost like this person feel like there's a karmic relationship here. And I feel very strongly, a very strong family vibe with this person. And I'm sensing that, you know, they're, they're headed down a wrong path. They're headed down some, somewhere that, um, can bring them a lot of, uh, disappointment. And I feel that they're so tunnel vision, right? And they can't really see any other outcome than the outcome that they already have in their mind. And I honestly feel that they don't know, they, they, they lack in that, you know, creativity. They might lack the, 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 um, the insights and also the adequate research to know that there's a better path. So they're heading somewhere down a troublesome path and you're trying to figure out, you know, do I help them? They might come to you for financial assistance. They might come to you for a sounding board, but more than anything, I feel like they're coming to you for support. And I feel that in the past, you try to detach yourself, or at least you try to tell this person to pursue their dreams, to go ahead with it, and to, you know, uh, take a risk. But now things seem to be risky associated with this person. And so when they're coming to you for assistance, it's, it's really because, you know, they respect your expertise, they respect your guidance, and they respect your mentorship. And so I feel that a lot, a, a huge part of you, I feel like some of you really want to be honest, but you don't want to, you know, lead this person astray. It's almost like um, there's a lot of fear here about, you know, telling people the truth, even though the truth might hurt them. OK, so I'm sensing uh, family members headed down the wrong path and you you have to, you know, uh, provide the mentorship. You have to provide that tough love and you have to, you know, give them that honesty because I feel like where things are headed, it might not be in their best interest to continue down that route. OK. Um, I'm also feeling as well, you know, the, the financial situation for some of you, there's a little bit of a detour to get yourself to the income bracket, to the, um, 
to the space that you need to be like financially and professionally okay so there's a lot of responsibilities it feels piling on okay so i i feel like it's almost like as soon as you start to master something or you're as soon as you know you're close to mastering something there's another pile of responsibilities imposed upon you and so while you're trying to learn this there's this other thing to learn and then so on and so forth so it feels almost as if the work itself is endless but you're going to get the hang of it in the June time frame. I feel that there's going to be a lot more success, a lot more. Um, the, the light bulbs will start to turn on, you know, everything will start to click. And then you're going to realize that, OK, everything was interrelated. And that's why everything was coming at me all at the same time. So I had to learn everything at the same time, because you're going to see how the pieces all fit together. And you're going to um, understand why all of those things were coming at you at that well you know in may like at this present moment okay so everything will fall into place you will understand the reasoning behind it why they wanted you to learn all of these things at the same time and why you know all the pieces are interrelated and how they're interrelated okay so that big picture that aha moment i feel that it's going to be coming through for you guys in the next month and i do sense as well this is going to be um the next month overall is going to bring about a lot more solidification in your work environment a lot more success okay in the meantime let me talk about the family situation um i mentioned earlier that i feel some of you have made it and i feel that you know despite all the challenges you have to overcome some really really strong solid things in order to get yourself where you are this is basically like you know the energy of like um being in a situation where you couldn't see the forest for the trees you didn't have like another trailblazer ahead of you you didn't have a uh, mentorship you didn't have guidance you had to struggle it uh through it on your own and you made it despite all the opposition this is pretty much about you know people that um might have told you you were pursuing a pipe dream pipe dream and i feel like in in spite of all of that you you stuck by your dreams and you achieved a lot of success that's what i'm sensing and now that you are on top of that mountain on top of the the hill and you can see into the distance you know you can start branching out you have more opportunities you have more professional contacts i feel like the past is coming up for you to understand that you know let's talk about who helped us get there let's talk about you know what what path we had to take because i feel like somebody is trying to follow in um like in your footsteps and they need the same mentorship they need the same guidance they need that extra you know leg up that extra support and i feel that they're um they're coming to you and so the my advice here is that you know you you want to pick your battles you can, you want to help people but you can't help everybody and so if you're helping somebody that's not worthy, they're not going to be able to succeed on their own despite all the effort and the mentorship. If you want to help somebody, just make sure the battle is worth it. Just make sure they're, you know, going um, going to be, I guess, like, um, you, you want to make sure they are sincere with their efforts and they're sincere about wanting that success no matter what it takes, okay? So this is a big month where you have to really see the the true worth in another person i mean we we all come to you know this planet hopefully most of us with the mentality that everybody is um you know is um is worth saving everybody is um good at heart and in a way our souls are always very good okay but like in terms of challenges in terms of people um, that are willing to take your advice and run with it or people that just want to bounce idea off of you and want you to do the hard work for them so that they can get uh, reap the benefits without having to do the work that's a different story okay